Boom! What is going on guys? Huge news with one of our favorite crypto projects here, MetaHero. Their CEO, Rob, has made some really neat videos explaining some massive potential with the project itself along with a new sister project called Everdome. Uh, I'm just stoked on it. It's gonna be awesome. You know what, we're, we're gonna skip the whole intro because we're just gonna get right into it. So MetaHero is the gateway into the metaverse. That's, that's the scanners. You get scanned in. That has all to do mostly with the scanning and those systems themselves. Everdome is going to be an actual metaverse itself. It's going to be a, the first hyper-realistic metaverse because let's take a look here. Because if you take here uh, a look at the two major existing metaverses is the sandbox and you can see it's very blocky it's very minecrafty right um, so it's very you know it's like a game and it's like minecraft and minecraft was very popular and then you get to central land and it, in a way too is, is very kind of cartoony it's animated um, and if you recall mark zuckerberg his metaverse video was mostly based on showing animated avatars as well. So as far as we know it, no one really has the capabilities of it. Um, and that's what these MetaHero scanners allow. They're partnered with Wolf Digital World and Sony and they can create these crazy hyper-realistic, um, basically they call it immortalizing of objects, of you and scanning you into it. And now they're creating their own metaverse called Everdome because they just don't fit into one of these cartoony metaverses. So that is pretty smart and pretty exciting. Now the biggest thing is, is it, can he pull it off? And what's, what's he got coming and how are his plans for it? And he's made a couple update videos. I think he's got one more to come. And I've watched them multiple times and I made some notes and we're gonna fly through the, the highlights of them so you don't have to spend as much time. But I highly recommend checking them out. I'll, I'll link them down below. So the most exciting thing about Everdome is, is he mentioned in the video that he's already got crypto investors reaching out to him. Uh, the next thing he said, he's already got game developers that are waiting on this. You know, as I mentioned before, it's the first hyper-realistic uh, first off NFT marketplace is how it's going to start. Those going to be first, it's going to be the first hyper-realistic NFT marketplace. And then it'll be the first hyper-realistic metaverse. As marketplace, he even mentioned later in December, possibly, you know, he's working on populating it with artists' work. So this artist, I'm sure, there's, there's one set up right now in Dubai, it's the first one. He mentioned that he's gonna have four of these scanners set up across everywhere. And there's gonna be some voting, I believe, at some point on where they get placed. Uh, you can sign up on MetaHero's site for the Wolf Digital World Tech section. And there you can actually be notified when one is set up in your area. Now, like I said, he managed to secure parts for four of them. Originally, it was only gonna be three, but he's got four of them, so that's great. And what they're trying to do to, to bring people on board to this movement is they're actually paying you $1,000 in hero token if you were one of the first 100,000 to get scanned. Now, I've got mixed feelings about this because I watched that section a few times and he didn't quite clarify. Because on one side of the things, if you scan yourself, and say you just pay and you scan yourself, you know, you own your rights and you can license out your likeness to game developers and you can license it out to medical companies. There's all sorts of different things where you could, you know, license out your 3D avatar itself. And, and that in a way can be a recurring revenue stream in the way that maybe these licensing deals work. And so, and in, in, we're not talking about games anymore with NFTs where it's play to earn, we're talking about scan to earn is how he even coined it at one point here. So, I mean, you end up, may end up quitting your job after getting scanned and being licensed by Rockstar for a big game or, or I don't know, something like that. Just the, the options are, are pretty crazy to blow your mind. Now, when they mentioned paying the first 100,000 people, I believe they're buying the rights to your likeness. And that I'm a little eh, on because, you know, you may don't sell yourself short. You may you may sell your digital 3D likeness for a thousand dollars, but you know, you're gonna go on to bigger and better things and they're gonna still own that digital asset and they'll be licensing it out to other companies and making recurring revenues. So I don't know if it was something in the lines of like, here's a thousand bucks just to promote you to go get it done. 
um, you still own your likeness or whether or not they're licensing and, and, and owning. So that's got to be clarified, I think. So we'll see what happens with that. But you know, you do you. But uh, not financial advice. This is just educational content. And now he did mention that there may be some sort of staking hero concept. I'm hoping he elaborates on this in his third video. But there'd be something where you know you stake hero and the money's just gonna come back to you because so many people are getting into the project. These early investors, us, we're in this project early. We're going to benefit big time from it. Now, how do we get into Everdome and when is Everdome coming? So I believe you might have mentioned in one of the videos um, early 2022 stuff with January, whatever Everdome stuff starting to come together. But in general, to get into Everdome, you have to, actually, let me pull it up. Just so you don't be confused, in Europe, they write the month, day, um, sorry, they write day, month, year. So when you're looking at these dates, it's day, month, year. So don't get confused by that. They're not talking about November. They're not talking about, um, you know, they're not talking about October 12th here. So they did do a snapshot previously, I believe it was November 25th. Um, and I actually didn't even have quite the limit of 10,000 here at that point. So they're taking another snapshot, December 10th. And if you hold 10,000 hero on a wallet, on a MetaMask or trust wallet, not an exchange, not KuCoin, not Binance.us, not an exchange, but on a wallet, and you will be given one slot, as well as a 15% land discount um, on Everdome once they start the project. Also, I actually made a video going over how to buy Hero properly and get it into your MetaMask. Check that out right here somewhere. Now, he did not clarify what a slot is. Um, I don't know if that's like one buying opportunity to it or if one slot will be a certain amount of Everdome token that you are whitelisted and available to buy at its IDO from the beginning. So he didn't exactly clarify that. If you have 100,000 hero, you get a 20% land discount throughout the project of Everdome and 10 slots. If you have a 1 million plus hero, you get a 25% land discount and 100 slots. So I'm definitely shooting to get that 10,000 hero by the 10th of December. I'm pretty close, but you know, from that announcement, you're actually eliminated um, if you sell or transfer any hero, you are permanently removed from the whitelist. As I mentioned, only non-centralized exchange wallets are acceptable, and you can keep buying slowly to get up there. But as a result, you know, Meta Hero price, it's definitely ramped up a good bit since this because people aren't selling because they want to get into Everdome, and they just keep buying to get to their 10,000 so that they can get that pre-whitelist access, which I think is going to be huge. So, you know, they mentioned here as well, I mean, this is, uh, Everyone's looking for the next potential 1,000x opportunity. Dealing with launch pads and limited availability is difficult. We're rewarding our true heroes by guaranteeing spots on the pre-sale of the most ambitious metaverse project crypto has ever seen. 5% of total supply has been reserved for you. So super exciting news to be able to be part of a project and be early in and have the opportunity to get in. As always, there is not a lot of information on Everdome. I'm just letting you know the risks here. And you know, you're putting a lot of trust in, in the CEO, in Rob. And you know, I think I definitely think that he is um, capable, but that is more up for you to decide. Because you know, his background is in marketing. And as you mentioned in one of the videos, he hasn't even started marketing Everdome yet. He's got a marketing budget, I'm sure, that he's building up and set aside, but he's you know, building all the infrastructure and background and the bones and everything right now of the business. So that's why it's a great time because you're early to get in. Once again, not financial advice. But there's risk because we don't really know exactly what these bones and infrastructure were going to be and if they're going to work properly. Is, is his estimations of people wanting to get into a hyper-realistic metaverse a little optimistic and that people are more okay with just doing the cartoony one and whatnot or do they want to see themselves in a space in a city um, where they can go and look at things and whatnot and then the opportunity for him to sell marketing stuff to businesses to market to people who are in this space and everything there's a lot of, there's a lot of complex logistics and things going on with this 
but you know, he ran a very successful company, CodeWise, and sold it off. And now he's had an incredible ramp up of MetaHero. And this MetaHero project itself is still a very low cap coin. Um, so in a way, you know, this is something that's early, but it's one of those ones where you're not risking a ton. 10,000 hero token isn't a ton of money for most people. Right now it's 25 cents. So 10,000, that's 2,500 worth of it if you bought it all right now. I've been buying in some a lot from previous, so I don't think I only have about 700 bucks more until I get that 10,000 euro. But hopefully these points gave you an idea of kind of what's coming and shifted your mind a little bit to think about the opportunities given to you getting into projects early and weighing your risk to your reward. As always, not financial advice. And I am done, so check out Meta Hero. All right, guys, peace out.